So I found it. <laughs> so again, when you take this thing off, what I should have done is I should Aim. have had it. Tyler, I'll say it. I should have had it like aiming to the floor, like right here. And they sometimes some clips in automotive are called like Jesus clips because it's like kind of they pop off and they go flying, and then you're like, oh Jesus, where did it go? So I guess that qualifies. This is a Jesus clip. Okay, so here's this one. I'm gonna find the one that matches in here. Here we go. Okay, it's pretty. You know, one thing nice is that it's pretty self-explanatory where this clip is gonna go. Cause see, it's wide. That holds that one, and then the skinnier holds the top one. But I usually go top first, and this better work for me because I'm having, seems like I'm having difficulties today. <laughs> this usually goes a lot quicker than it's going, but then I guess, you know, cheap clip, or I mean not cheap clips, but uh, brake cheap, pads. cheap brake pads and whatnot made in China. I hate putting stuff on my Cadillac that is not made in the United States. It really bothers me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I just need a screwdriver in the head right now. Tyler. Sorry. Okay. So there we go. It's coming up a bit. Everything has to fight me today. All right. You gotta make sure that that goes over the lip, though. Probably help if I had a smaller screwdriver, but... There we go. Okay, sorry that took a while. Okay, now... As a precaution, because I think I might got a little bit of my hand on this brake pad, and it's, okay, hold it back here, and it's right. Yep. <coughs> nice and clean. Hold your breath. Okay. <laughs> so, this part here, this clip is designed to pop into your piston. So. Pop into your piston. Here's this. You have your piston here. Now you've got to hook that there. And oh, wow, wow. There. And then pop it in, see? Nice and easy. Okay, and where's the other thing I just, here's the other one, but it popped off, so let me pop it back in. Okay, so. The pop tart. This side needs to pop in. Alright. We're pretty much good because it will probably pop in mostly on its own once it's on there. Okay, so again, this is a precaution, I do that. Okay. And this goes here. Now, usually the next part should be pretty easy, but sometimes it just, like everything else today, will not cooperate. So we'll see what happens when I, gosh darn it, this is kind of stuff I don't like when it pops back off when it's supposed to be on there. Okay. Probably newer model of brake pad. Tyler, just please just focus on filming and stuff yeah so okay so that's on there somewhat oh, God. Tyler did you just touch that mm, yes okay if your son touches your brake your brake rotor go back a little see I'm, I'm giving good examples of what not to do spray that okay so. <laughs> poor mom so this part's always fun because you gotta remember, even though I got the piston down, it still is. Oh! Okay. That happens sometimes, which sucks. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I will go ahead and press that baby back in there. Everything hates you today. Thank you, Tyler. Really uh, not me, the car. Uh. Okay. I don't wanna go into the wheel. Ah. Tyler! Sorry. And I hope any of you that have kids helping you that they're not so distracting to you because this makes it even more. Aggravating. Gee, thanks. Okay, so there we go. And we gotta pop that, kind of wiggle it in. Okay, so there we go. There we go. That's one side. Now, of course, I have to have a side bite me, but that's okay. Can do this. There, see? It's all in there now. Okay, and I got my screws. Remember, they go in this way. Make sure everything's lined up when you send it through. Mm, I was just about to say that. There we go. Okay. So then, there's that. Hmm. Okay, and... Oh, that's a lug nut. Okay, and then this side, again. 
line up. Alright, so then from here, I'm just going to tighten everything up. So I got my ratchet with 5 eighths on. Okay, tighten this. And what I do is I don't tighten, like, I'm going to like tighten this a bit. I'm not going to tighten it all the way because I want to get over here and get this one a little bit tighter. And that's generally what I do whenever I'm doing something. Because if you have, like, let's say you're planting something down, and you tighten one side real tight, and then the other side has to cut, catch up, this side's going to be kind of squished. So you want everything to kind of go evenly. So that's the way I can do that in a situation like this. So, so I'm just going to go back and forth on it. They may clunk around a little bit because that piston's all the way down. But of course, it, when you apply the brakes, the piston will come back out and it will settle to where it's supposed to settle. Okay, so don't let that alarm you like if it's clunking around a little bit. Uh, 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 okay, one more time. And I'm going to send thing at me. I'm not laughing, I'm oh, sneezing. Like everything. Okay. All right. So now you get your stuff out of the way because you're gonna put the wheel back on. I'm gonna show you real quick my little trick for that. 